What's up guys, Billy here, and welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk Tuesday, the commentary series where I sit down and talk about anything technology related. Now currently there's no way to find out who the pilot of a drone is. You could hear it flying above you and you'd have no idea again who that pilot is and also where they're located. And this can lead to some illegal things happening as usually the pilot won't have to deal with any consequences if they are kept anonymous. Now these illegal things can range from flying in areas that you're not supposed to and also invading someone's privacy. In order to monitor the safety of drone flight, DJI has proposed an easy way for officials to identify who the pilot of a drone is by using a special broadcast given off by the drone itself. Basically the way that it works is each drone will have its own special signal or its own special broadcast that will basically transmit its position in space and time as well as the information of the pilot of said drone. Now this obviously does arise a few issues immediately. There are a lot of things that could go wrong with this so I will talk about that in just a few seconds and then after that I'll go over what I think of this whole situation and idea. First and probably most important is security. With this system being implemented, a lot of people, including myself, are probably wondering just how secure the broadcast can be. An analogy that DJI made is that it works a lot like the license plate on a car, except this is like a digital license plate for your drone. Now think of someone driving down the road, and if you look at the license plate on the back of someone's car, an everyday person will not easily be able to find out who the person is driving that car, but someone like a policeman who's driving behind them will easily be able to look them up using the database that only they have access to. And again, it'll kind of work like that so that these officials will only have access to this broadcast and not everyone else. However this system works, whether it's with software or brand new hardware, this technology always has the possibility of falling into the wrong hands. So before something like this happens or before something like this idea is implemented, I would love to know the exact amount of information someone receiving this broadcast can get. Like are they going to be able to look at my address, are they going to get to look at my name, I mean I want to know exactly what they can see. The second issue that I've thought of is compatibility. Now a lot of people with older drones are probably jumping to the conclusion that they need to go out and buy a new drone that can broadcast this signal or has the technology on board that can broadcast this signal as I'm sure that once this goes into effect it'll pretty much be a part of the FAA guidelines that you need to have this broadcast being emitted from your drone. The good thing about this second issue that I've brought up is that DJI actually has stated that drones both new and old will be able to emit this broadcast using technology and hardware already on board. Now the problem is we don't know exactly which drones will be supported. They haven't come out with like a full list yet but we'll just have to wait and see as we get closer to this deadline or as we get closer to this feature being added. They also have stated that this technology will be easily adoptable by other companies, maybe like Unique or also Autel, so it's a good thing that they're not only thinking of themselves. The third and final issue that I thought of is consequences. Now although I know that a lot of people aren't out there breaking the drone laws during their flight, I know that there are a lot of people out there flying above 400 feet or doing other things that are a little bit questionable and I'm kind of sitting here wondering what the consequences for them will be. Obviously we're going to see a lot more people getting in trouble for maybe flying their drone too high or flying in areas they're not supposed to because of this brand new technology. And again, it leaves me sitting here wondering what's going to happen to them. I mean obviously it's some, if it's something that's really bad, like if you're in Area 51 flying your drone, that could result in jail time and I'm almost positive that drone will get shot down. Uh, but also if you're just flying maybe over 400 feet or maybe if you're flying in an area that's restricted like a national park, you could receive a fairly hefty fine and I'd be interested to really see what the basis of the fines are. So maybe like if you're flying at 500 feet, it's a thousand dollar fine. 600 feet, two thousand dollar fine. I mean, I'm just spitballing here, but I wonder if that with this technology, they're going to be able to kind of create a basis and almost like a ticketing system like they do for when people are speeding on the road. As long as you're flying safely, there's really no reason to worry about the consequences. I myself am just interested in them as I know that there are some people out there who are so used to breaking the rules just because there's really no one there to enforce it. So I'd kind of be curious as to know who is going to enforce it. Maybe it's going to be regular police officers with this technology. Maybe it's going to be FAA officials that drive around. I mean again, I'm really not sure, but I am intrigued to find out what the consequences may be. Now I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, but basically the reason that DJI is coming up with this idea or the reason that they've proposed this idea is because of Congress. Congress went to the FAA directly and told them that they needed a way to remotely identify drone users and drone pilots 
And just to make things even more stressful, they slapped a two-year deadline on that, and this was last year. So the time is ticking down, and I think that the idea that DJI has come up with is pretty solid. Sure, the idea doesn't sound perfect yet. It could use a little tweaking here and there, but again, we are far from something like this being implemented, and by then they should have a pretty good grasp on it. Now, me personally, I don't plan on breaking any of the FAA guidelines anytime soon, but again, I do think that there's a lot of people out there who are used to breaking the guidelines, as I said earlier, and I think that it's awesome that we may have officials going around and making sure that people are flying their drones safely. Again, I'm not exactly sure who is going to be doing this, whether it's going to be local police, whether it's going to be FAA officials that they hire, uh, but again, I do think it's good to have someone there looking over your shoulder, as usually people telling you you can't fly over 400 feet on the internet isn't going to do much. To quickly wrap this video up, let me go over a summary of the things that I discussed. So to start things off, Congress went to the FAA directly and said, we want a way to remotely identify drone pilots. From here, DJI came out and said that they had an idea, they proposed an idea, saying, why don't we give each drone a digital license plate? That's kind of the analogy they gave. But in real terms, or I guess in technical terms, they want to give each drone a specific broadcast. And from that broadcast, an official will be able to use a device or some certain software from there to identify the drone's position in space and time, as well as the person who's flying it. Now from here, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. I mean, I'm one voice, I'm kind of here to just bring the discussion to you guys. I'm sure that a lot of people may not know about the situation, but this really does impact all drone flyers everywhere. I mean, last Tuesday I talked about the safety of drones or the drones saving people, and although that, they, that may not apply to everyone, like filmmakers that really won't apply to you, this applies to everyone, as everyone is going to have this digital license plate. Uh, so again, definitely make sure to leave me a comment down below letting me know if you think you're kind of on my side saying that the digital license plate is a good idea or you're on the other side saying that it's a problem and it should be tweaked a little bit. Uh, also, I'm going to leave a link in the description to a PDF file that DJI has put together, basically going over everything I said, but in a lot more depth. Um, so again, in this video, I wanted to give my opinions on it as well as briefly give you guys an update on what's going on. Uh, so guys, anyway, that's about all for this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here as I have been trying to upload daily. Also, don't forget, leave me a comment down below. That is the most important thing as I want to hear what you guys to have, have to say. Uh, so guys, anyway, as I said, this video is coming to an end. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.